Get ready for an extraordinary experience as you tune into this inspiring sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. The words you are about to hear carry the power to renew your spirit and ignite a fire of faith within you, guiding you to a new level of divine breakthrough. of that word you will not be able to stand it if you if you are part of this prophecy the hand of god is coming upon you everyone who has been immobilized by life by destiny by witchcraft this grace is coming upon you and the lord is bringing deliverance right now to everything there is an end surely there is an end please bring them out if I were you, I will be praying that everything that has held me down, that I will not make progress in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, it must give way tonight. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me a vision. Please listen. There is such power in this place. And in that vision, I'm seeing like the door of a prison. And I'm just seeing a hand turning a key. And I'm seeing the number 27. 27. I want to pray right now. Every family that has been locked, kept in bondage, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. At the count of three, I decree and declare. As that, if it's happening in the spirit, in the name of Jesus, that grace will rest upon you. Father, I stretch my hands as you have revealed to me everyone whose life and destiny has been caged. Every family that has been caged right now, at the count of three, be released. One, two, three. I open that prison door now. Bring them out. I open that prison door now by the authority of the Spirit. I open that prison door now. Bring them out. Let me pray. I just saw something for those in the overflow outside. Let me speak to those outside. I'm going to come to those inside, all the overflows, but those outside, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring the people out right now, outside. I'm seen by the Spirit. The Lord is revealing something to me, that there are people, watch this, I'm seeing a woman in the Spirit with a child, then she keeps losing the child. This is not physical, this is spiritual. There are people who have carried things, but they've been losing it. Outside, I'm stretching my hands right now, by the power Power of the Holy Spirit, everyone who is a victim of that, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Outside, just the outside overflow. This is what God is revealing. I decree and declare everyone aborting destiny, aborting visions, losing things you should carry by the power that raised Christ from the dead. That spirit of love and waste is hereby destroyed in Jesus name I, 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 glory be to God say
the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Listen, there is fire that is burning here and many, many people, many, many people, you will not escape this. I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus once and as you pray, one of the things that God is visiting is curses that create patterns. Curses that create patterns of failure. Curses that create patterns of setback. Are you ready to shout that name? Father, I'm praying in the name of Jesus that as we shout that name that is above every name, every family, repetitive patterns, patterns of death, patterns of failure, patterns of destruction, let it give way right now. Are you ready, Koinonia? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Negative patterns, negative circles, tying your life, tying your family, tying everything concerning your destiny. Bring them out. I release you. Mother, father, be released. Sister, brother, be released. From the north, the south, the east, the west. In the name of Jesus, be released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the spirit of disfavor. This is a spirit responsible for shame and reproach. I taught last week that word Ichabod. Jabez was named Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow. But the man got angry one day and said, Lord, oh that thou wouldest bless me. I want to pray. The spirit that brings shame, shame in relationships, shame in career, shame in ministry, Shabekatoske Brandigabata. I'm praying right now. Anyone who has been a victim of shame and disfavor be delivered now 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 I prophesy to you be delivered now the Bible says, and my people shall never be ashamed, shall never be ashamed, shall never be ashamed. I'm hearing the name Becky, Becky. I'm sure that may be a short form of Rebecca. Becky, who is that person? You are tying, you are wearing a cloth, the same color with the, what you are tying on your head. Becky. Becky, please, when you find the person... Becky, if I give a prophetic word, please don't just rush and come out because you are desperate. If it's not for you, just believe. I don't have to prophesy directly to you. Are we together? Yours is just to believe. Becky, in the name of Jesus, the person I'm seeing, well, I will pray. Hallelujah. Just come and stand here. No, no, my, relax, be patient. God has located you already, so you don't need to come and just be rolling on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Becky, the Lord is showing me. Kaleis Kali Kuratu Savradishi. I want to pray for someone here. The devil has been using your face and people have been seeing you in their dreams as an evil person. Like he uses your face. I'm praying. I just saw, I kept quiet because God was speaking to me on that. They you people go to bed and then they see your face causing destruction. They wake up believing that maybe you are involved in witchcraft. I don't know who that person is but I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is turning, giving a name Negative identity in the spirit before I come to the Beckys in the name of Jesus be delivered from it now <laughs> hallelujah Becky I want to pray for you please look at me you see when God speaks a word like this it is because he wants to bring you deliverance not everybody is playing games I want you to believe there is authority in the prophetic word hallelujah 
and once he calls you even if he does not tell you anything the fact that he has called you and you have come you believe that you never come into his presence and go back the same hallelujah i want to pray for you there is a gentleman here i need to pray for you your brother is in jail your brother is in jail as i speak now he's in prison he's in jail and i want to pray because it is a spirit this this is a spirit of misfortune bad luck all kinds of evil things keep happening in the to the people in your family now i want to pray two of you in front here the power of god is coming on you now i just saw fire on two of you in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead as that grace rests on you two of you in front here in the name of jesus i'm declaring unto you that every limitation in your life you just keep them gently let it go father you called out becky i'm praying whatever it is that is a covenant that is sponsoring witchcraft in these families i declare by the fire of the holy spirit let it give way now let it give way now let it give way now i release you by the power of the holy spirit be set free right now you will never 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 return to this calamity again in the name of jesus christ there is someone your brother is in jail your brother is in prison this is what i'm seeing whether you are falling online or outside please don't tell lies make sure that you understand what i'm saying don't just come and stand emotionally make sure that this is true i want to pray for you in the name of jesus where is he where is your brother he is in sokoto he is a soldier yes sir. he's a soldier yes sir but he's in prison yes sir he is in gadrum since six months ago no don't worry i want to pray for you do you believe that god will bring him out yes sir i believe you too my friend yes sir my brother is in jail the lady too yes sir your brother yes sir father you are a god of mercy in as much as we do not truncate law and order we know that in the realm of the spirit mercy triumphs over judgment because you have revealed in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over these precious ones lord they will come and stand on this altar and they will testify that you have been this good in the name of jesus we introduce the mercy of god across systems and structures and we pray especially for those who were wrongly put in prison i hope you know prison a prison is where both good and bad people meet don't judge anybody you see in prison you may be talking about joseph the prison and the cross are two mysterious places anybody you see on the cross don't judge because you may be talking about jesus there are people on the cross who are not dying for their sins there are people in the prison who are not suffering for their sins these are two mysterious places when you see people in the prison and you see people on the cross yours is to pray because three people were on the cross two were victims of their calamities but one was there as a savior there were many people three people again were recorded in scripture the wine presser the baker and joseph the two were there justly but joseph was there as a deliverer in the making so the prison is a mysterious place it's where both good and bad people meet but i'm praying for you because god has brought you out here let the power of the holy spirit i use you as a point of contact to your loved ones every power that is bringing this satanic oppression over this family let it come to an end now in the name of jesus christ there is someone from january till now you have lost three jobs you got three jobs and you lost all the jobs three jobs and all of them have left i'm not talking of something that somebody said come and manage you got a job and you still lost it three what i'm seeing in the spirit i want to pray for you and i'm using you to pray for every other person what is the spirit that makes you lose things that when good things enter your hand they don't stay can i pray for you koinonia in the name of jesus christ you got three jobs and lost them in abuja here what was the last job last month sir. where in abuja Jabi, yes, sir. what job was that driving job sir. 
driving. But I'm a BSC holder, sir. But you are a BSC holder. You are a BSC holder. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Um, the most important thing is that God lifts you. There is nothing that is done with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Are we together now? It is better to drive with honor, even if you are a graduate, than to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And let me say this here. Anybody who wants to come around your family, this onslaught, I'm going to be praying some serious prayers. Kidnapping and asking people to bring ransom. A family that is still trying to feed and they just come and pack someone and say bring ransom 10 million 5 million and they enter for some families if they get into a debt of 2 million that is a transgenerational debt because with the state of that family even in 10 years they will not be able to pay and yet in one week they can they have to cough out that money i'm praying for you any programming of darkness to stop you and will lay you on the road or to come to your house and kidnap people or cause trouble i call upon the god of vengeance in the name of jesus may he visit the wicked may he visit the wicked For those of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare, you had jobs and you lost. When God gives, he retains, he keeps. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, for your shame, according to scripture, receive double. For your shame, oh, I release grace on you, receive double. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone say after me, Father. Shout it, say, Father. Let my portion in life and destiny locate me now. Go ahead and pray. Let my portion. God is a God of portions. Please open your mouth and pray. Let my portion. That allotment for me in life and destiny. Extend that prayer to your children. Let my portion in life. Let my portion portion in destiny locate me let my portion in life my portion in destiny locate me someone pray in your prayer is your miracle in your prayer is your miracle let my portion let my portion locate me by the spirit of grace hallelujah now hear me hear me god is a god of portions that means it is never god's idea for you to be a slave under someone forever you can start and learn but eventually god gives you your space it's called rehoboth god has given up and this also means territorial establishment are we together now yes for a time period you are allowed to stay in a place that is not your own but with time when the god of portion visits you this is what happened to jacob jacob was in the house of laban he was not supposed to be forever but laban used the Divination and found out that Joseph had been get, that um, Jacob it was because of Jacob's presence he was increasing and he refused to let Jacob go change wives did all change his wages and kept that man for over 20 years anybody coming in the spirit of Laban do not allow you have your space in life and destiny stopping that word Rehoboth from becoming your reality you dig a well and the Philistine come to cover it you dig a well and they come to cover it may my God give you your space in life in destiny in your home in your business I say it again the God of portions may he give you your own space do you believe this prayer now look at me please when jesus was about to have what we call the triumphant entry the bible tells us that he sent his disciples he said go to a street whose roads divide watch this you will see a coat tied there that no man including the owner had ridden on there are people who are caretakers of certain things it is not for them it was supposed to pass through them but the spirit of laban says it will not pass it will remain 
I pray for you. Parakos kiataba. Anyone carrying any cold that you should use for your triumphant entry, triumphant entry in business, in marriage, in family, in ministry, and is refusing to allow that cold get to you. I pray for you. May it be released now. May it be released now. One. Are we together? They put one soup, they add draw, they add vegetables, they add whatever, they add stew, then the protein, my goodness, every piece will be represented there. Then they now sit down. You invited them. There's water, wine, juice, both destructive and organic, they join everything together. You are permitted to take that much tonight. And you are also permitted, listen, listen. Beyond the plate that you eat in, if you check well, you will see that there is an extra vessel to take some more and to take it for those who deserve to receive. That is how lavish this faithful shepherd is. He's prepared for us a feast. And in the name of Jesus, with the few minutes that we have, I pray that as we stretch in prayer, trusting him to bring deliverance, trusting him to bring healing, that at the end of this service, nobody will walk empty. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You have fought for food at physical weddings that carry no power. You fought and insisted you must carry the cabbage, the rice, the chicken. I have children at home. You ate, ate again, sat down, changed your table to eat the next one and carry to go. I'm just joking with you. <laughs> Amen. But here you don't need to change your table. It will keep going around. If you miss it, it comes again. If you miss it, it comes again. Those outside, if you miss it, it comes again. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up on your feet. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. It's all I receive. I manifest. I manifest your power, your power, and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Are you ready to celebrate him now? Glorify, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. Someone pray from the depth of your heart. 
We're in a season where God is taking men to new dimensions. New season in ministry, a new season in my life, a new season in business, season of plenty, season of increase, season of fire, season of power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We have but a few minutes and we're going to be as fast as we can. Ladies and gentlemen, let your hearts be open. He's called you and he never calls the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. I'm going to begin to minister by the Spirit. And hopefully at the end of it, I will invite God's servant, Reverend Sam, to just speak over our life since he's here i believe in the corporate anointing just to make prophetic declarations hallelujah today will be one day you will not forget in a hurry in the name of jesus christ so you sit back fasten your seat belts allow me do my thing you have believed that's your own so you just leave me and god to do the rest your own you have believed you've done your own hallelujah get out of our way you just stand be ready to receive and leave me and god together hallelujah but one thing i assure you of is my god will surprise you every word that comes remember you have been taught don't be careless receive it with your heart hallelujah and i'm going to start by ministering deliverance of people and the moment i'm done we'll pray for the sick and we'll hopefully take testimony i'm seeing my footballer people don't worry my friend you put down your boots say i'm going to pray for you these guys really mean business these footballers i think they've seen what god is doing and it's better than going to idols is that not true hallelujah all right so before you shout i want you to bring those who will come under the anointing you don't need to do anything you just listen to the instruction this is what god is putting in my heart and this category of people who will be coming out now by the spirit as i'm speaking and, and ushers please will, will make that very fast this category of people who will be coming out right now they are not coming out just for themselves i'm seeing in the spirit that there these are families that have been tied because i'm seeing chains around the legs of people this has made people immobile they are not able to make destiny progress and god wants to visit people now the time will come i will ask you to shout but for now i'm just going to make that declaration and then i want you to please bring those people out in the name of jesus christ father thank you you have revealed this and every time you reveal it is so that you will redeem every one of the people that have seen in this vision right now i declare by the spirit of grace let that yoke leave now bring them out in the name of jesus you will not be able to stand it no this is we're talking of the great power of god this is authority in the spirit please bring them out Sali Shalako Siata, tied by darkness, your redemption comes and it comes speedily. Come speedily. This is Koinonia. Please come. Hallelujah. Oh.
because of that word you will not be able to stand it if you if you are part of this prophecy the hand of god is coming upon you everyone who has been immobilized by life by destiny by witchcraft this grace is coming upon you and the lord is bringing deliverance right now to everything there is an end surely there is an end please bring them out if I were you, I will be praying that everything that has held me down, that I will not make progress in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, it must give way tonight. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me a vision. Please listen. There is such power in this place. And in that vision, I'm seeing like the door of a prison. And I'm just seeing a hand turning a key. And I'm seeing the number 27. 27. I want to pray right now. Every family that has been locked, kept in bondage, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. At the count of three, I decree and declare. As that, if it's happening in the spirit, in the name of Jesus, that grace will rest upon you. Father, I stretch my hands as you have revealed to me everyone whose life and destiny has been caged. Every family that has been caged right now, at the count of three, be released. One, two, three. I open that prison door now. Bring them out. I open that prison door now by the authority of the Spirit. I open that prison door now. Bring them out. Let me pray. I just saw something for those in the overflow outside. Let me speak to those outside. I'm going to come to those inside, all the overflows, but those outside, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring the people out right now, outside. I'm seen by the Spirit. The Lord is revealing something to me, that there are people, watch this, I'm seeing a woman in the Spirit with a child, then she keeps losing the child. This is not physical, this is spiritual. There are people who have carried things, but they've been losing it. Outside, I'm stretching my hands right now, by the power power of the Holy Spirit, everyone who is a victim of that, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Outside, just the outside overflow. This is what God is revealing. I decree and declare everyone aborting destiny, aborting visions, losing things you should carry by the power that raised Christ from the dead. That spirit of loss and waste is hereby destroyed in Jesus' name. Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. Say. says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Listen there is fire that is burning here and many many people many many people you will not escape this. I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus once and as you pray one of the things that God is visiting is curses that create patterns. Curses that create patterns of failure curses that create patterns of setback. Are you ready to shout that name? Father I'm praying 
praying in the name of Jesus that as we shout that name that is above every name, every family, repetitive patterns, patterns of death, patterns of failure, patterns of destruction, let it give way right now. Are you ready, Koinonia? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Negative patterns, negative circles, tying your life, tying your family, tying everything concerning your destiny. Bring them out. I release you. Mother, father, be released. Sister, brother, be released. From the north, the south, the east, the west. In the name of Jesus, be released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the spirit of disfavor. This is a spirit responsible for shame and reproach. I touched last week that word Ichabod. Jabez was named Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow. But the man got angry one day and said, Lord, oh that thou wouldest bless me. I want to pray. The spirit that brings shame, shame in relationships, shame in career, shame in ministry. I'm praying right now. Anyone who has been a victim of shame shame and disfavor be delivered now 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 I prophesy to you be delivered now the Bible says, and my people shall never be ashamed, shall never be ashamed, shall never be ashamed. I'm hearing the name Becky, Becky. I'm sure that may be a short form of Rebecca. Becky, who is that person? You are tying, you are wearing a cloth the same color with the, what you are tying on your head. Becky. Becky, please, when you find the person... Becky, if I give a prophetic word, please don't just rush and come out because you are desperate. If it's not for you, just believe. I don't have to prophesy directly to you. Are we together? Yours is just to believe. Becky, in the name of Jesus, the person I'm seeing, well, I will pray. Hallelujah. Just come and stand here. No, no, my, relax, be patient. God has located you already, so you don't need to come and just be rolling on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Becky, the Lord is showing me. I want to pray for someone here. The devil has been using your face and people have been seeing you in their dreams as an evil person. Like he uses your face. I'm praying. I just saw, I kept quiet because God was speaking to me on that. The you people go to bed and then they see your face causing destruction. They wake up believing that maybe you are involved in witchcraft. I don't know who that person is but I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is turning, giving a name negative identity in the spirit before I come to the Beckys in the name of Jesus be delivered from it now <laughs> hallelujah Becky I want to pray for you please look at me you see when God speaks a word like this it is because he wants to bring you deliverance not everybody is playing games I want you to believe there is authority in the prophetic word hallelujah and once he calls you, even if he does not tell you anything, the fact that he has called you and you have come, you believe that you never come into his presence and go back the same. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. There is a gentleman here. I need to pray for you. Your brother is in jail. 
your brother is in jail as i speak now he's in prison he's in jail and i want to pray because it is a spirit this this is a spirit of misfortune bad luck all kinds of evil things keep happening in the, to the people in your family now i want to pray two of you in front here the power of god is coming on you now i just saw fire on two of you in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead as that grace rests on you two of you in front here in the name of jesus i'm declaring unto you that every limitation in your life you just keep them gently let it go father you called out becky i'm praying whatever it is that is a covenant that is sponsoring witchcraft in these families i declare by the fire of the holy spirit let it give way now let it give way now let it give way now i release you by the power of the holy spirit be set free right now you will never 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 return to this calamity again in the name of jesus christ there is someone your brother is in jail your brother is in prison this is what i'm seeing whether you are falling online or outside please don't tell lies make sure that you understand what i'm saying don't just come and stand emotionally make sure that this is true i want to pray for you in the name of jesus where is he where is your brother he is in sokoto he is a soldier yes sir. he's a soldier yes sir but he's in prison yes sir he is in garden since six months ago no don't worry i want to pray for you do you believe that god will bring him out yes sir i believe you too my friend yes sir my brother is in jail the lady too yes sir your brother yes sir father you are a god of mercy in as much as we do not truncate law and order we know that in the realm of the spirit mercy triumphs over judgment because you have revealed in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over these precious ones lord they will come and stand on this altar and they will testify that you have been this good in the name of jesus we introduce the mercy of god across systems and structures and we pray especially for those who were wrongly put in prison i hope you know prison a prison is where both good and bad people meet don't judge anybody you see in prison you may be talking about joseph the prison and the cross are two mysterious places anybody you see on the cross don't judge because you may be talking about jesus there are people on the cross who are not dying for their sins there are people in the prison who are not suffering for their sins these are two mysterious places when you see people in the prison and you see people on the cross yours is to pray because three people were on the cross two were victims of their calamities but one was there as a savior there were many people three people again were recorded in scripture the wine presser the baker and joseph the two were there justly but joseph was there as a deliverer in the making so the prison is a mysterious place it's where both good and bad people meet but i'm praying for you because god has brought you out here let the power of the holy spirit i use you as a point of contact to your loved ones every power that is bringing this satanic oppression over this family let it come to an end now in the name of jesus christ Glory be
Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Listen, there is fire that is burning here and many, many people, many, many people, you will not escape this. I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus once and as you pray, one of the things that God is visiting is curses that create patterns. Curses that create patterns of failure. Curses that create patterns of setback. Are you ready to shout that name? Father, I'm praying in the name of Jesus that as we shout that name that is above every name, every family, repetitive patterns, patterns of death, patterns of failure, patterns of destruction, let it give way right now. Are you ready, Koinonia? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Negative patterns, negative circles, tying your life, tying your family, tying everything concerning your destiny. Bring them out. I release you. Mother, father, be released. Sister, brother, be released. From the north, the south, the east, the west. In the name of Jesus, be released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the spirit of disfavor. This is the spirit responsible for shame and reproach. I touched last week that word Ichabod. Jabez was named Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow. But the man got angry one day and said, Lord, oh that thou wouldest bless me. I want to pray. The spirit that brings shame, shame in relationships, shame in career, shame in ministry. I'm praying right now. Anyone who has been a victim of shame and disfavor be delivered now 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 I prophesy to you be delivered now the Bible says, and my people shall never be ashamed, shall never be ashamed, shall never be ashamed. I'm hearing the name Becky, Becky. I'm sure that may be a short form of Rebecca. Becky, who is that person? You are tying, you are wearing a cloth the same color with the, what you are tying on your head. Becky. Becky, please, when you find the person, Becky, if I give a prophetic word, please don't just rush and come out because you are desperate. If it's not for you, just believe. I don't have to prophesy directly to you. Are we together? Yours is just to believe. Becky, in the name of Jesus, the person I'm seeing, well, I will pray. Hallelujah. Just come and stand here. No, no, my, relax, be patient. God has located you already, so you don't need to come and just be rolling on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Becky, the Lord is showing me. I want to pray for someone here. The devil has been using your face and people have been seeing you in their dreams as an evil person. Like he uses your face. I'm praying. I just saw, I kept quiet because God was speaking to me on that. They, you people go to bed and then they see your face causing destruction. They wake up believing that maybe you are involved in witchcraft. I don't know who that person is, but I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that is turning, giving a name negative identity in the spirit before I come to the Beckys in the name of Jesus be delivered from it now <laughs> hallelujah Becky 
believe. I want to pray for you. Please look at me. You see, when God speaks a word like this, it is because he wants to bring you deliverance. Not everybody is playing games. I want you to believe there is authority in the prophetic word. Hallelujah. And once he calls you, even if he does not tell you anything, the fact that he has called you and you have come, you believe that you never come into his presence and go back the same. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. There is a gentleman here. I need to pray for you. Your brother is in jail. Your brother is in jail. As I speak now, he's in prison. He's in jail. And I want to pray because it is a spirit. This, this is a spirit of misfortune. Bad luck. All kinds of evil things keep happening in the, to the people in your family. Now I want to pray. Two of you in front here. The power of God is coming on you now. I just saw fire on two of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. As that grace rests on you, two of you in front here, in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring unto you that every limitation in your life, you just keep them gently. Let it go. Father, you called out Becky. I'm praying whatever it is that is a covenant that is sponsoring witchcraft in these families, I declare by the fire of the Holy Spirit, let it give way now. Let it give way now. Let it give way now. I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. You will never, never, never return to this calamity again. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone, your brother is in jail. Your brother is in prison. This is what I'm seeing. Whether you are falling online or outside, please don't tell lies. Make sure that you understand what I'm saying. Don't just come and stand emotionally. Make sure that this is true. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Where is he? Where is your brother? He is in Sokoto. He is a so, soldier. Yes, sir. He's a soldier. Yes, sir. But he's in prison. Yes, sir. He is in Gadurum since six months ago. No, don't worry. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God will bring him out? Yes, sir. I believe. You too, my friend? Yes, sir. My brother is in jail. The lady too? Yes, sir. Your brother? Yes, sir. Father, you are a God of mercy. In as much as we do not truncate law and order, we know that in the realm of the spirit, mercy triumphs over judgment. Because you have revealed, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these precious ones. Lord, they will come and stand on this altar and they will testify that you have been this good. In the name of Jesus, we introduce the mercy of God across systems and structures. And we pray, especially for those who were wrongly put in prison. I hope you know prison. A prison is where both good and bad people meet. Don't judge anybody you see in prison. You may be talking about Joseph. The prison and the cross are two mysterious places. Anybody you see on the cross, don't judge because you may be talking about Jesus. There are people on the cross who are not dying for their sins. There are people in the prison who are not suffering for their sins. These are two mysterious places. When you see people in the prison and you see people on the cross, yours is to pray. Because three people were on the cross. Two were victims of their calamities, but one was there as a savior. There were many people, three people again were recorded in scripture. The wine presser, the baker, and Joseph. The two were there justly, but Joseph was there as a deliverer in the making. So the prison is a mysterious place. It's where both good and bad people meet. But I'm praying for you because God has brought you out here. Let the power of the Holy Spirit, I use you as a point of contact to your loved ones. Every power that is bringing this satanic oppression over this family, let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone from January till now, you have lost three jobs. You got three jobs and you lost all the jobs. Three jobs and all of them have left. I'm not talking of something that somebody said, come and manage. You got a job and you still lost it. Three, what I'm seeing in the spirit. I want to pray for you and I'm using you to pray for every other person. What is the spirit that makes you lose things? That when good things enter your hand, they don't stay. Can I pray for you, Koinonia? In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. You 
you got three jobs and lost them in Abuja here. What was the last job? Last month, sir. Where? In Abuja, Jabi here, sir. What job was that? Driving job, sir. Driving? Well, I'm a BSC holder, sir. But you are a BSC you holder. You are a BSC holder. Yes, I'm going to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Um, the most important thing is that God lifts you. There is nothing that is done with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Are we together now? It is better to drive with honor, even if you are a graduate, than to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And let me say this here. Anybody who wants to come around your family, this onslaught, I'm going to be praying some serious prayers. Kidnapping and asking people to bring ransom. A family that is still trying to feed and they just come and pack someone and say bring ransom 10 million 5 million and they enter for some families if they get into a debt of 2 million that is a transgenerational debt because with the state of that family even in 10 years they will not be able to pay and yet in one week they can they have to cough out that money i'm praying for you any programming of darkness to stop you and will lay you on the road or to come to your house and kidnap people or cause trouble. I call upon the God of vengeance. In the name of Jesus, may he visit the wicked. May he visit the wicked. For those of you who are in front here, I stretch my hands towards you. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare, you had jobs and you lost. When God gives, he retains, he keeps. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. For your shame, according to scripture, receive double. For your shame, oh, I release grace on you. Receive double. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone say after me, Father. Shout it, say Father. Let my portion in life and destiny locate me now go ahead and pray let my portion god is a god of portions please open your mouth and pray let my portion that allotment for me in life and destiny extend that prayer to your children let my portion in life let my portion in destiny locate me let my portion in life my portion in destiny locate me someone pray in your prayer is your miracle in your prayer is your miracle let my portion let my portion locate me by the spirit of grace hallelujah now hear me hear me God is a God of portions. That means it is never God's idea for you to be a slave under someone forever. You can start and learn, but eventually God gives you your space. It's called Rehoboth. God has given up. And this also means territorial establishment. Are we together now? Yes. For a time period, you are allowed to stay in a place that is not your own. But with time, when the God of portion visits you, this is what happened to Jacob. Jacob was in the house of Laban. It was not supposed to be forever, but Laban used the nation and found out that Joseph had been get, that um, Jacob it was because of Jacob's presence he was increasing and he refused to let Jacob go change wives did all change his wages and kept that man for over 20 years anybody coming in the spirit of Laban to not allow you have your space in life and destiny stopping that word Rehoboth from becoming your reality you dig a well and the Philistines come to cover it. You dig a well and they come to cover it. May my God give you your space. In life, in destiny, in your home, in your business, I say it again, the God of portions, may he give you your own space. Do you believe this prayer? 
Now look at me please. When Jesus was about to have what we call the triumphant entry, the Bible tells us that he sent his disciples. He said, go to a street whose roads divide. Watch this. You will see a colt tied there that no man, including the owner, had ridden on. There are people who are caretakers of certain things. It is not for them. It was supposed to pass through them. But the spirit of Laban says it will not pass. It will remain. I pray for you. Harakos Kiataba. Anyone carrying any cult that you should use for your triumphant entry. Triumphant entry in business, in marriage, in family, in ministry. And is refusing to allow that cult get to you. I pray for you. May it be released now. May it be released now. Go to a street whose a road whose streets divide and you will see a cold there are monies god gave men that is not for them he made them prosper unusually in the business not because of their transactional prowess he knew that somebody there are people today who have built properties they don't know why that property is not just claiming people's things. This is not what I'm saying. Listen, please look up. Let me teach you something. There are two ways God blesses people. He blesses people by making you Abraham. Or he blesses you by making you Lot. Are we together? Not everyone will receive the mandate directly from God. But everyone can be the partaker of the mandate. If you are Lot and you are trying to prosper by being Abraham, you will die hungry. God called Abraham, but Lord said, I can still partake of it. Are we together now? So you need to know whether you are Abraham or Lot. If you are Abraham, your mandate is to be faithful with what you have received because there is a Lot who is at the mercy of your obedience. If you are Lot, you must discern so that you do not break the relationship with Abraham because your prosperity is tied to your discernment. The first decision Lot took outside of Abraham's influence landed him in Sodom and Gomorrah. That means his prosperity was not a function of his wisdom. He was under a grace of Abraham. Hear what I'm telling you. There are many of you who, if God is to allow you learn all the business principles by yourself and start prospering, it may be till 20, 30 before you prosper. But he brings you after the order of Lot. It is one of the ways he redeems time by giving men favor because it takes time to learn the genuine secrets that produce lasting wealth and the truth is that there are people who have gotten born again late before they now begin to learn these principles a woman of 70 years where is she going to learn 25 principles for prosperity she's made the mistake she did not maximize destiny but is God still a God of mercy so God will bring Abraham to her and she needs to have the wisdom of Lot if you are Abraham I am telling you be faithful in hearing God because Lot there are many lots that are depending on your obedience but if you are Lot swallow your pride and honor Abraham because if you fight with Abraham that is the end of your prosperity the same Abraham that fought with Lot was the one who had to come and save Lot and even in doing that he lost his wife you know what it means to lose your wife the basis for your productivity Pharaoh said, let the men go, but the women and children should remain. That means the men would die of old age, of natural cause, and there would not be a transgenerational, there would not be continuity. Are we together? Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are some of you right now, by the mercy of God, and because of the covenant God had with your parents, instead of taking 10 years to start learning the principles, the truth is that time has gone. You already have five children. Before you learn all the rudiments, so what God does as an act of his mercy is he will let you hear when he's speaking to Abraham. As Abraham moves, you come as Lord provided you can be faithful a day will come you will not even know who God spoke to and who God on who is following the mistake do you know the trouble between Abraham and Lot started from their men not them their men train the people 
people around you to know why the anointing is in your life so that they do not you don't lose the anointing and lose favor i don't know why the spirit of god is speaking this through me i'm speaking to the entire globe listen to me there are people right now the reason why you will lose favor is because of your children you have not taught your children that the church god planted you in is the reason why god is honoring them and you are watching them dishonor the vessel that god is using to lift you learn from lot remember lot's wife but remember lot too two of them have a story to tell are we together now know when you are abraham and know when you are lot not everybody will be abraham you can look on to abraham but not everybody will be abraham there are people today god has granted them an unusual grace they can sit down where they are every year they can have opportunity to give up to 30 people jobs and because of your relationship with them out of those 30 slots they will give you three three every year make sure you don't fight this kind of people because the day that happens that it will be the day your child now just graduates from school and is ready for a job and that door is closed i pray for someone whatever has taken you away from the blessing of abraham as lot may my god who is your god bring restoration may my god who is your god bring restoration and if you are Abraham, I'm praying for you. The grace to stay until what God says manifest. May it happen for you. May that grace rest on you. So that all the lots connected to you will not wait in vain because of your disobedience. And Lot went with him. That was the wisest thing Lot did. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. When it was time for God to help the Ethiopian Enoch, he encouraged the servant Philip. He said, join this chariot. For the sake of the man, join this chariot. If you leave this man alone, confusion will kill him. If you leave this man alone, he will never be saved. Join this chariot. Can I tell you, beware of the people God brings in your life. There are destructive people I taught you, but there are people who are gifts. When you see other people joining your chariot, discern. If it's God that has sent them there, respect their presence. It's not idleness that brought them. God sent them to your chariot so that you will understand the interpretation of what you are reading. You have opened the book of your destiny, but you cannot understand it. So God sends them to join the chariot. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I pray for the sick now? Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe. Do you know Reverend Sam? I got to find out that there are four. I've discerned that there are four diseases that the devil is bringing to destroy people in the body of Christ. It didn't used to be an issue, but it, the church seems to be keeping quiet over it. And if we do not arise and pray, number one is called cancer. Cancer. Thank God for the research that is being done in medicine, but we need to pray and upgrade our levels of graces so that we can bring to end this, this demonic thing that is killing people. I know many people, sadly, who have died in the last two or three months because of this satanic thing. One time, I think it was a, some, maybe it's a few months ago, I was praying for people and then this beautiful young lady, seven years, this little girl, swollen by that devilish thing. You would think it is old people, but now seven years, what did the girl do? Satan for you. Cancer. Cancer. Number two that I want us to pray for is Satan is beginning to creep and he's fighting the next generation in the church and he's using the tool of infertility. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not a doctor, but there are many people who are all right. It is because of the coming of John that Elizabeth is suffering. 
it has nothing to do with Elizabeth. Even though later we know that it is God's plan. So that John will come just shortly after Jesus. And not be discouraged. But all the same. Infertility. You will see somebody who is alright. Wife alright. Are we together? Or she will take in. And then here comes this demonic satanic familiar spirit. An encounter. And we think it does not matter. I don't want to. You see. Territorial advancement and preserving the purposes of God is transgenerational. Every time Satan begins to fight continuity, there is a goal, there is an agenda. I speak in parables. It's important for you to be discerning. The next 10 years with this onslaught of infertility on the church is going to deplete the strength of believers to a point where we will go back to Egypt and become slaves. This thing is a strategy and we must pray. Number three, every madman Jesus saw in the Bible, he healed the person. There was one sickness Jesus did not tolerate. There were other sicknesses, some were healed, but madness was not one of it. To the point that Jesus crossed over to heal one person and returned back, a madman in Gadara. This thing called mental health is creeping gradually in Nigeria. It's not too much, but in Europe, America, you see children and they tell you mental health someone can pick a, a, a knife kill himself kill the mother and begin to act I mean the stress that families especially in Europe and US are going through because of mental health you have four children and three of them are almost like madmen you literally leave your destiny and you are focused at managing them. Every time you see distraction away from purpose, it is Satan's strategy. When the nation of Israel were serving the Lord, he said it is because they have straw. Stop giving them straw so that they will be busy looking for straw and they will not have the time to serve the Lord. This is number three. Are we together now? This is very important. The fourth one is not sickness per se like health, but is the spirit of lack and poverty. And Satan is using the strategy of borrowing. For as long as I am alive, I will never watch the church of God go down economically. It doesn't matter what people say or do not say. It is part of the mandate to help God's people with dignity and integrity, correct the errors that are around the whole teaching on wealth that brings materialism, but to help God's people for God's sake to be empowered. If an unbeliever is the one training your child because of lack, that child will serve the God of that unbeliever. There is only one reason, hear me believers, why Egypt goes to, I used to say one, but I found two reasons now. There is one, there are two reasons why Israel goes to Egypt. Number one is to learn wisdom and knowledge. Number two is hunger. Are we together? Genesis 42, 1 and 2. There was hunger and Jacob spoke to his sons. He saw that there was corn, but the location was wrong. There was supply. He saw that there was money, but the man who has that money is a cultist. But I am hungry, and my husband has five children. My husband has six children. And the cultist is saying, come, you will work with me. You will bow to my God, and you will earn a salary of 200,000. And church people are saying, don't worry. God is faithful. Love him anyhow. And the person is getting into trouble. Give us verse 1. Media, verse 1. Genesis 42, 1. And now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he said to his sons, why do you look upon one another? Verse 2. I have heard that there is corn. The only problem is that the location is not a good place. Get thee down, Tita, and buy for us. Yes, I know that the man sacrifices people, but just go, we are hungry. I know that the money the man wants to give me as a man of God is blood money. But what will I do? If I don't collect it, the church will not be built. I know that you are not caught. You still bring it. The church needs to be empowered. It has become a disease. 
this thing called poverty for as long as I'm alive and for as long as God gives me the privilege of leadership over this ministry I have vowed before God and it's my covenant to you that among many things that you must carry in this destiny is the grace to live a life of dignity and honor you believe that shout amen I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant at the expense of their economic empowerment I'm committed to bringing the whole counsel of God among the five benefits of God is that he satisfied your mouth with good things so that your days are renewed your youth is renewed let's pray for the sick now you deserve the glory please lay your hands and the honor Lord, I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. now I want to pray for you you came here with someone who is sick you can lay hands on that person and we're honored to have I will always bless God for all the hospitals and the clinics that literally put these teachings during the miracle services for their patients there are literally clinics right now who are allowing either on screen or people using phones for their patients. It's such an honor to be able to bring the healing power of Jesus to these places. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And I want you to believe in the healing Jesus. Remember, part of the things available in this feast is his power to heal. The Bible says the power of God was present to heal them. But he only ended up healing one person. I want to pray for you now. Believe. Believe. Only believe. When I pray for you, I'm going to give you instructions to check yourself. When I say check yourself, do it. That if your neck could not move, don't be afraid. Your feet could not move, don't be afraid. You came here with a walking aid, don't be afraid. Your hands are unable to be lifted, don't be afraid. I will pray for you. And let's see what God does tonight within the time that we have. Are you ready? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. We are here because we are believers. We believe in the cross. We believe in the blood of the eternal covenant that has brought eternal atonement for sin, for sickness. And Lord, we pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and ministering to your people and to the nations, many who are trusting God for all kinds of miracles in their bodies. Many of them holding death sentences this moment as medical reports many of them like the woman with the issue of blood they have spent their earnings they have spent their means of livelihood they have lost jobs because of ill health they've had many parts of their bodies deadened and weakened I'm praying right now oh God that you honor every word that comes from the lips of your servant therefore I pray every spirit my God that is the, at the back of any disease, any infirmity, any health or mental distress, I command that spirit to give way now. I command that spirit to give way now. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Right now be healed. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare your internal organs be healed now your heart be healed now brain 
tumors disappear now. The Lord is showing me someone. You have a swelling at the back of your eye. This is inside, but it is affecting you. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is healing you right now. There's someone you have, it is not a thyroid. I don't know if it's a thyroid problem. It's like goiter, but um, it's inside, just inside within your neck. And you are having a severe discomfort. It's like some kind of ulcer, some injury inside. You feel the pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Every heart problem be healed now. Someone is going to shout loud right now under the anointing. In the name of Jesus. God is correcting something in the body of that person. This is what I'm seeing. Every liver problem be healed now. Every damaged kidney jacked back to life now. I saw this same case that I want to mention now when I was ministering at yesterday in Asaba. I think it was yesterday, either Asaba or Lagos, I can't remember which. There's someone, you have a problem going to ease yourself, to urinate. It's like, it's like you cannot pass urine freely. I don't know what the name of the sickness is, but it just comes in droplets. You're not able and it's, it has severe pain. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is resting on you now. There's someone you are having severe ulcer severe ulcer there are wounds inside you and and i mean it you're going through all kinds of excruciating pain i decree and declare be healed now i'm seeing someone the lord is showing me something it's a very interesting thing i'm seeing you go, you are going through severe pain almost like stomach cramps but this happens all the time always literally you cannot lie down i'm seeing you having to hold a pillow and just to lie on it in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching you right now now every bone condition bone conditions you are not able to walk you are not able to lift up your hands in jesus name be healed now if you came with a neck collar or some bracelet around your neck or around your joints i decree and declare may the power of god touch you be healed now be healed now brain damage be healed now in the name of Jesus, sleep apnea, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's a disease called insomnia. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. The Lord, a miracle has happened there. Look at this. Bring her out. We're still praying. Bring her out. A miracle has happened there. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. She's removed her neck collar. Give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. Don't be distracted. We're still praying. Check them and make sure that let's pray. We're still praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm praying for someone. I don't know what problem you are having around your rib, your, your um, what they call it now. Um, your ribs you feel severe pain you are a sickler this person you are a sickler in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare be healed now be healed now now um, please don't be embarrassed by the case I'm calling there is someone I'm seeing the Lord heal you you are a lady this is not just you lactating what is coming out is not breast milk this is something that is dangerous i will not say more than that but you are having a very serious situation you need help right now because with what i'm seeing that thing is degenerating and it's almost something that we don't want to say anything negative but in the name of jesus whoever that person is let the power of god touch you right where you are every shoulder pain be healed now 
you came here with any walking aid and you could not walk, you are not able to move your legs, I decree and declare that you begin to walk now. I decree and declare that you begin to walk now. Let life and strength surge to your body right now. In the name of Jesus. And seeing someone, you could not lift your hands just as I'm lifting it now. But in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Now, whether I mention your case or not, for sake of time, be healed now. Outside, be healed now. All the other overflows, be healed now. Online, be healed now. I want you to check yourself now. Begin to do what you could not do. Begin to do what you could not do. There are miracles happening. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, i like you to leave your seat right now. Let's take even if it's two or three miracles. Check yourself. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening inside. Miracles are happening outside. Check your body. Bend over backwards. Lift your leg. The moment you see that the power of God has touched you. In fact, the Lord is showing me someone. You are in the overflow outside. When you came and sat down, you could not see the screen clearly but as I'm speaking now I want you to look clearly you will see that the power of God has touched your right eye particularly your right eye a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus let's celebrate them as they come while that is happening all the ushers please bring for me the prayer requests very quickly check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened I know that our time is gone I don't want you to sit back Remember what I said about testimonies. Let's just have, even if it's two, three people, come. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Koinonia, is this how you celebrate miracles? Those who have received miracles from outside, please make your way to the front. Check yourself. Do what you could not do. People are coming. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? Alright, begin to submit your prayer request too. We are doing all this at the same time. My God, Jesus is touching people. Um, there's someone you have a severe pain at the left side of your neck. I want you to check it now. It was even swollen. You will check and see that it's gone. Gone forever in the name of Jesus. Let's take two or three testimonies very quickly. Yes, are you ready? Who is ready? Anyone who is ready, go ahead. the Lord. Sorry, Mama was having this problem last year. And Mama was having what now? Neck problem. Neck last, problem. Yes. Then, but today, she received her healing. She's today able to she, move her neck? Yes, she can move her healing. Can she hear me? Mama, yes. move your neck. Look at this. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at this. Mama is saying she hallelujah. Removed, Someone she removed say amen. Oh, she, she removed, removed it herself. Removed herself. Yeah. Give it to her. Let her hold it. Let the devil see it. Mama, walk. Mama, go. Walk. Let the devil see you. Move your neck. Oh, hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. My goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Mama, we pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will go back and tell everybody in your house that you encountered Jesus at Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's celebrate our next person. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I used to have this severe pain on my waist for more than two years now. More than two years? Yes, sir. Then there's another pain on my knee. So that standing up becomes very difficult. Sometimes that of my waist, I have to walk like an old woman. Standing up, I have to act like an old woman. Walk like this. And now, and now I'm very walk, free. even run. Ah! Oh, God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Dideo, dideo, help me. Say, oh, God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. Dideo, dideo. Oh, God of signs, oh, God of signs and wonders, Savior, Redeemer, come and manifest your power. 
Hallelujah. We give Jesus praise. He will never return to you again. In Jesus name. Next person please. Let's do justice to time. Very quickly. Yes Apostle please. Apostle gave word of knowledge of tonsillitis. She has had it for nine years. Tox let us speak. So I've had it for nine years. Nine years. Yes. Medically verified. Yes. I was even asked to do a surgery for it. And now. It turned on me. Immediately you said the word. It felt very light. I could not sing for long before. I can't shout for long. But now. Like it feels very light. There's no pain at all. Shout on Satan you are a liar. Satan you are a liar. Come on now. In the name of Jesus. It will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes please. Very quickly. Next person. You gave a word of knowledge of someone who could not urinate. Now he has had severe pain in his manhood oh for my God. a very long time. Immediately you gave that word of knowledge, the pain disappeared. Have you gone to check yourself? Y yes, I, I do treat it. I treat it. Uh, but now, the pain does not left the time I treat it. I still feel the pain. But now I not Completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, that satanic thing leaves you forever. Amen. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles? Amen. Yes, go ahead. Next person. Okay, yes sir. Please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm um, the lady you mentioned with um, sickle cell. Sam, can you help us, by... please? Let's, let's hear the testimony very quickly. Okay. Please make sure you are submitting your request. There are ushers with the basket. How many of you are yet to submit your request? Please do so very quickly. Do so whilst you're listening. Yes, please. Go ahead. I'm the lady you mentioned with sickle cell. And you are the sickle cell lady. Yes. Having pain. the pain. Yeah, the pain was diagnosed as um, gallstone, kidney gallstone. Kidney gallstone. Yes. When you started the prayer, I felt the pain, but right now I can't feel it anymore. Completely. Check yourself. Check yourself. It's gone. Don't cry. Come and manifest your power. Dideo, Dideo. Manifest your power. Dideo, Dideo. You manifest your power. Many of you may never know what it means to be a sickler number one and then to have these kinds of situations. I'm praying for you. Not only that God has healed this, but may he do a miracle on your genotype. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Next person, please. Very quickly. Very quickly. So, Apostle, a very fantastic testimony. Yes, please. Sir, you mentioned my dad case. For as long as I've known him, he can't pee without pain and difficulty. For as long as you... Yes. Wow. So, last week, he, I wanted to call him to send me money. He told me that he wants to buy a drug and is over 100000 because of his prostate uh, issue. Okay. So, I now put him on speaker when you were praying. I said, Daddy, just... You put him on speaker. Yeah, I said, just hold the apostles about... And you mentioned this case, that there's someone that has difficulty. Yes. And immediately I told him to check himself. He said he doesn't feel the pain anymore. That is gone. The centurion said, speak the word only. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all family members connected across the globe who are not here on site. The same power that is bringing miracles to people here, we extend the same to any nation, any region, any territory. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for your dad, his healing remains permanent forever. In Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. Apostle, yes. Three, four years, bloody vision healed. She's in the overflow, but immediately you declare that word, she fell under the anointing and she can see properly now. She can see. Yes, sir. Our two eyes. Yes, sir. Go ahead. What happened to you? Uh, you, you, you mentioned that she's still under the anointing. Oh, she's under the anointing. When the person came, he was not able to see the screen very well. Yes. You, you know, are the lady. I should look at you. I should look at you now that I will see that I can see you clearly. And I looked at the screen. It was sharp. And it was, like, oh dear. Four years. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the God of wonders perfect this miracle. It will never, never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Difficulty okay. in hearing for over 25 years. Over 25 years. In let fact, him speak. He, he said that his wife told him that he's going to leave her because every time he talks to his wife, he always says, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Let, let him talk. Very, very quickly, sir. Yes. Uh, what happened to you? I can hear now. 
You can hear now. Yes. I like this man. Straight to the point. No beating about the bush. That's the most important thing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare. Come on, Koinonia. Are you giving Jesus praise? He will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Go ahead. So, Apostle, she was just healed of fibroid. Fibroid? She felt the pain. It was swollen. It. Did How long, my dear? Um, it's getting to, I don't know, maybe two to three years. Do I saw you in, the, in my dream. Was it last month? Yes. Now, what happened to you now? Now, I am okay. You are okay? It's, yes. So, you go to the, med make sure you go to the medical stand to confirm it. Yes. But we give Jesus praise for this miracle. Place your hand there. That devil leaves never to return again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. So again, you I'm guys are going to sing this song. Go. I hope you are ready. Stop. I've been so stressed, I can't shout it, but we must sing it. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Yes, go ahead. Praise God. Uh, my mom, if I'm talking to my mom on phone, I have to repeat and repeat. Now I put her in my, in my prayer. Your so, mom? Yes. Where is she? She's in Ogun State. Ogun State? Yes, sir. So after you said that, we should sit down with that. Anybody that has prayer, testimony, yes. I, I called her and I was telling her that, Mommy, I put you in prayer. Can you hear me now? She said she can hear. I can hear very well. I can hear. My God, in the name of Jesus, that miracle becomes perfected for ever by the power of the holy spirit next person very quickly apostle okay yeah this is a 16 year old girl 16 year old and she has been lactating for the past five months oh my god what in the world is this one now but god 16 years her. yes sir and the medical medically let the doctor the talk yes so she told me that she has been lactating and she's been having breast pain so i took her to the medical center and i expressed her breast there was no pain and there was no discharge <laughs> look at this let me see the lady. Don't be ashamed, my dear. 16 years. Look at how wicked the devil is. A small girl like this. Oh God of signs and wonders. Save your redeemer. Come and manifest your power. You have manifested your power. You have manifested your power. My dear, what's your name? What's her name? Don't cry. My name is Gift. Gift? Yes. May you be a gift to our world. We bless you and we declare that satanic thing, whatever is wrong with your body that is resulting to that, you are healed forever. And you will go and excel in school. You will be an exceptional child in the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus praise. Also, this is a lump of several miracles here. Pain in the neck, pain in the hand, pain in the chest. They are all healed all kinds by of, the power of God. Okay, all kinds of pain from your head to your toe. Whether it's head, back, once it is pain. In the name of Jesus, we give Jesus thanks for this supernatural manifestation. You are healed. It will never return again. Let's shout amen. So... Once I've mentioned your case, you can go back rejoicing in Jesus' name. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of someone with pain behind her eyes. Pain behind growth, your eyes. Growth, growth behind growth. her eyes. Yeah, yeah. She Let has had it for five years. Okay, since 2021, I've been having pains behind my eyes. I yes. can't really see. I'm sensitive to light. So when I went to the doctor, they checked me and they said, there's a growth behind your eyes. Me, your pituitary gland is getting enlarged. And since then, I've been wearing glasses. I can't see natural artificial light. I'm always bringing water to my eyes. That's why I wear glasses. But I can't see any distance. But light is very sensitive to my eyes. But right now? But right now, I can't see any light. Do you feel any pain? Just a little. In the name of eyes. Jesus, let that little go. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We give Jesus praise. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Let's take from. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Something is wrong, the mic? Oh dear. Okay, let's take one or two there. Who is ready now? Sir, work on our mic. Yes. Stiffness in the neck. Let him speak. What's your name, sir? Apostle, my name is Frank Etuk. Yes, please. I came to this place with a stiff neck. I could not, if I want to talk to this sister now, I'll just do like this, I could not. But Apostle, look at this. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Come on, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. Come and manifest your presence. Yes. 
sir in the name of jesus it will never return to you again this is how you will go back you will look left and look right and see blessings waiting for you in the name of jesus yes go ahead is the mic working now yes sir go ahead okay so this is my little brother when he was two how can you call him little say okay. younger brother my this boy is not little <laughs> brother uh -huh. when he was two we were playing so compass entered his right eye come again when we were little yes we we're playing so compass Co compass from math set oh compass from math set yes my and goodness entered his right eye so he had to travel so for surgery and they changed his lens so now as you mentioned the case of someone that could not see from her father could not see you clearly yes he said he can now see clearly you can see me now look at this miracle as a young man, compass from Matset hurt his eyes. He went for surgery, changed his lens. And right now, place your hand on your eyes. Let me pray for you. Father, this miracle remains permanent. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing here tonight? In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Very quickly, next person, God bless you. Apostle, you mentioned that somebody that has a boy inside the eye. It's not outside. So I've had the problem for over 10 years now. And sometimes pulse used to come from the inside of the eye. So when I came for the program, I, I was not seeing clearly. It's just as if they use white leather to cover my eye. But when you mention the case, I hold my eye. The, the pen disappear. And I can see this side now. But before... Oh, you couldn't see this direction? Yes. My goodness. What do we tell Jesus? For these kinds of things. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over this, your lovely daughter. This miracle that has happened to her remains permanent forever. In the name of Jesus. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. When I came to church this morning, I had very painful sore throat. Yes. And I was feeling heavy, like terrible heavy. But immediately you prayed for us, everything just vanished. Gone and completely. Yes, I declare it remains permanent for you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. Apostle, as you ask us to shout, scream Jesus, I was having a sore throat here and the pain, it was so swollen. So maybe I just mentioned Jesus before I could realize everything disappeared. Now listen, let me show you what God is saying through these miracles. Number one, God is restoring vision. Yeah. Number two, God is restoring your voice. Yeah. Your voice is where your relevance is. Yeah. When the devil fights your voice, he asks John, he says, who are you? He says, I'm the voice of one calling. Are we together? Number three, God is giving you the ability. Watch this now. He told Abraham, he says, look left, right, northwards, southwards, eastwards. God is broadening your horizon. These miracles are not just body miracles. They are also prophetic messages. That's why God is re-emphasizing again. Once I have spoken, but it's your responsibility to hear and hear again. Are we together? Yes. And right now it's gone. In the name of Jesus, it remains permanent for you. Let's see if we can have three or four. My goodness, we have to work Apostle, with time. Five years pain in the nails. Heal pain Let's in the nails. How long? Five years, sir. Five years. Five years. What couldn't you do? I couldn't bend. Even when I was walking on the stairs, this it, it was difficult. Was Try pain. bending. Oh. Look at this. And he's tall, so it's not really very easy. Shocked. I, I was shocked. I had to test it upstairs over and over, even on the stairs while coming down, just to be sure that it was gone. Jesus for you, sent with love from heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, it remains permanent. Yes, please. The doctor has a test. Ah, doctor yourself. Yes. That's right. I took some medication last week and I started having gastritis. I was in so much pain and discomfort. I had to eat frequently. So I came to church with the pain. I was just coping. But when you were ministry, before you started praying, when you were talking about the four things that's happening to the church, while you were saying it, I was already under the anointing. And then when I, I got up, the pain is gone. It's gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, it remains permanent, your healing in Jesus' name. Yes, please. The doctor will want to speak for this person. Please, very quickly. So she, she has a myasthenia gravis, diagnosed about three years ah. now. Doctors, 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 we love you, you read well. What in the world does that mean? She, ah. She's unable, unable to raise her hands up. You mentioned that case, unable to raise her hands up. Oh, that is it? <laughs> that long thing? 
No, I'm, I'm joking. I mean, come on. It's good to be knowledgeable. Did you hear the name? Uh, and then when you minister, she's now able to lift her hands, but she wants to speak for herself. Go ahead. One minute. In fact, uh, 10 seconds. Go the straight. The weakness is my general body. But when you asked me to lift my hand, I was able to lift it up to five times. My legs are still shaking, but I know that by God's grace... I'm oh, your, okay. your whole body? Yes, the whole body. This is her mother. Her mother is here. Oh, Mama, you are her mother? Yes, sir. Well, how has it been before now? So we went to hospital. They said she has mysteria gravis. So she has weakness of body. Oh, that thing the doctor mentioned? Yes, that was what the doctor said. But I know with God... That one In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We decree and declare, Mama, I pray for both you and the daughter. Let the power of God rest on you. We bring perfection to this condition in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I'm praying for your waist there. Eh? Back pain. In Jesus' name. You are standing for your daughter, but I rebuke, I rebuke back pain. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, we have one more testimony here. Okay. Then with, with your permission. Okay, please, with your pleasure. Online. Let's see. It's all right, Don't name. be in a rush to go. There are, well, you can go if you want to, but we are going to speak over people this night. Yes, go ahead. It's all right. My name is Abba Gabriel. For the more, more than five years now, I've been having pain in this my right ear. So I couldn't hear clearly. But pain? I, yes, pain in my right ear. So I couldn't hear clearly. But when Apostle was listing the menu of what you can achieve in the miracle service, that the power to heal is available here. Immediately, I just hear a pop on my ear and immediately I started hearing. That's it. In the name of Jesus, my friend, let the power of God touch you now, bringing you life perfection. It never returns again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. So we have these testimonies from those online. This is from Elisa from USA. I got healed of a right shoulder tear that causes pain for me over the year. I got healed right now. Apostle, you mentioned the shoulder case. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. You are watching. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. This is from Port Harcourt. This is from Joy in Port Harcourt. She says, God is good. I was already dozing off from trying to escape the stomach pain. I was having, I was having while watching today's service. Apostle said, you are supporting yourself with a pillow. And your hands are on your stomach. Immediately, I got healed. Glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, Port Harcourt, healing comes for you. Yeah. We have one more from from someone watching from Abuja here. The person says, I want to return all glory to God for my supernatural healing. I had my baby via cesarean section two months ago. They said there's a back pain that comes with it and that I have to forbear. I refuse to bear. When Apostle mentioned that we should check ourselves, I bent over and started checking myself. And there is no pain whatsoever. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus praise. Okay, let's take two. There's about two or so because we're going to pray. There are lots of requests here. Go Our ahead. mommy came in from Anabra. This is a son. Okay. Difficulty in working for 10 years. 10 years. So the son had to travel home to go and bring her for this oh, service. He brought her here. Mama, let her speak. What happened? Or the boy, whichever. Yeah, she has been having this leg pain for more than 10 years. And we've spent a lot of money in the hospital. Just last month, we finished treating it. Then she called me again that the thing has started. I even had it in my dream. You came all the way from the yeah, east? From, uh, yeah, today we arrived today. So why come She couldn't walk well. So, but immediately after the prayer, she, it was, she had a knock on her leg. So everything now sees even her chest pain. So Mommy, she, look at me. Mama, walk. Look at this. Let me tell you the truth. Listen, let me teach you something. Results are very powerful. Honestly, results are very powerful. They have a unique ability to exalt the name of Jesus and to bring glory to the saints. I'm praying, Mama, in the name of Jesus, you will go back to the east and you will tell every one of them that Jesus is alive. And for the gentleman who brought your mother here, may God honor you and position destiny help us around your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we take the final one? No pains in the neck, pain pains in, the chest, in Jesus' name. Icon. You are healed forever in Jesus' name. Everybody rise, please. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands, everybody, by faith. 
that includes those watching online watching from television go ahead if there are still requests coming please this is our final miracle service for 2023 not the final service by the way i hope you know that we we'll announce for the final service we still have about um three weeks or thereabout hallelujah go ahead and begin to speak over these requests is the most accurate representation of your desires remember what i told you when your desires and expectations are defined then you are able to receive someone is praying about my knees as i pray whilst you also pray right there go ahead and pray father manifest your power over these requests in the name of jesus thousands of requests from across the globe we declare by the spirit of the living god father visit people restoration in the name of jesus financial upliftments fruitfulness sing that song one time for us while we pray in the spirit go ahead everybody you are praying Reverend Sam, I will invite him to just come and speak over the requests and then you speak over our lives and then we'll wrap up. Give him a big God bless you. Give him a big God bless you. Give him a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Can we just stretch our hands in this direction over this request? Father, we thank you. You're the God that answers prayer. There are no impossibilities before you. We spread our hands over this request. And with the amen of the saints, we decree and declare, contentions over your promotion is over. When Apostle was praying, that was one of the things that I heard. And I want to decree again, somebody due for the next office. Somebody, I saw, I saw about 71 offices vacant. And the Lord said the contention over your promotion is over. The contention over your promotion is over. The contention over your promotion is over. I hear in my spirit clearly the contention over your marriage is over. The contention over your marital settlement is over. I am hearing congratulations in your father's house. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. There's a family here, three ladies are not married. And the Lord said the door has just been opened. The door has just been opened. 
the door has just been opened there is a family who thought you have thought this will be the year you will conceive and every attempt for conception did not happen the Lord said begin to rejoice because by this same time next year you shall have your baby to celebrate you will come on this altar by this same time next year to celebrate in the name of Jesus. Apostle, I'm hearing the door of the nations have just been opened for so many. Rejection is over. Rejection is over. Your visas are granted. I see 74 of you scholarships have just been released it should be scholarship after scholarships your PhD is sorted out your master sorted out in the name of Jesus Christ when apostle was praying for you I saw chains falling and the Lord took me to Acts 16. The Bible says at midnight when Paul was praying, the Bible said the chain of all the prisoners fell down and their doors were open at once. And the Lord is saying concerning your request here, doors are opened unto you now. The door of your lifting has just been opened. The door of your advancement has just been opened. The door of a career change has just been opened. The door of finances has just been opened. The door of finances has just been opened. You are coming out of debts. You are paying off your debts. The door of joy has just been opened for you. The door of a turnaround has just been opened unto you. Every request represented here, one after the other, I decree back to back answers. Back to back answers. Back to back answers. Back to back answers. You will return to testify on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what family it is, but the Lord said you have been crying to him because of premature death. And the Lord said the door of premature death has just been closed in your family. The door of premature death has just been closed in your family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you the glory and the praise for this request. We give you the honor and the adoration for this request. Thank you for marriages. Thank you for children. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for turnarounds. Thank you for promotion. There is a military officer here. The Lord said your promotion has just been released. We we'll give you the praise and the glory. Let your name forever be praised. That the Lord just said I should declare this over some people here. I'm hearing the word finishing. Now listen, listen. There are people under the sound of my voice. You are, I'm seeing so many projects that have been started. But somewhere you got stuck and you couldn't, you got stored, you just couldn't finish. And I'm hearing it's a pattern in the family. They start things, they don't finish. They start things, they don't finish. Whosoever you are, inside and outside, the Bible says, and Solomon finished the building. And Solomon completed the building. With your hand upon your head and your amen so loud, receive the finishing anointing.
with your hand upon your head and your amen so loud receive the finishing anointing receive the finishing anointing as I leave you I mean I'm just hearing apostle I'm hearing and David recovered all please I don't know your name I wish I can put your name there but for all these requests recover all recover lost time recover lost opportunity recover the years that can't come one last second recover the years the locals have taken on this altar we decree and declare recover all hallelujah let's give reverend sam a big big god bless you hallelujah we're out of time just just three prayers i need to speak over your life if you brought any point of contact lift it up now i want to speak whether your documents whether whatever if there's nothing just lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i decree and i declare over your various points of contact inside and outside let an unction from heaven rest upon it and with these points of contact strange testimonies now strange testimonies now strange testimonies now in the name of Jesus Christ can I declare favor over you every door this is our year of open door every door that has been closed towards you by this mantle this grace you've heard the testimonies i pray for someone who is desperate to see the favor of god in your life beginning from tonight may favor start speaking may favor start speaking speaking in your office speaking in your home speaking in the morning speaking in the afternoon speaking in the night receive that grace in Jesus name final prayer final prayer final prayer I want to pray the grace for encounters listen this is a spiritual house your prayer life your word study life your appetite for the things of the spirit it is important that it remains intact this is our major assignment therefore I pray for you in the name of Jesus every prayer life that has gone down here you really want to pray and serve the Lord but you find there is a weak in your spirit you cannot explain right now fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh passion for the word receive it in the name of Jesus Christ and in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you with your hands even these hands that are lifted the kinds of signs and wonders you have never seen happen through you i stretch my hands to those who believe in the name of jesus in this season may my god wrought signs and wonders through your hands our time is up but i'm led in my spirit to speak over your finances will that be a waste of your time hmm. God helps men know this issue of finances. I want to pray for you. Every chain around your finances. With all humility, I tell you the truth. This is a ministry that God has helped. There is no reason why you should be part of this vision and then have yourself go down financially and in shame. I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Financial shame, financial limitation, debt borrowing, emotional stress because of finances. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. 
receive supernatural favor open doors for your finances in the name of Jesus Christ for someone the financial blessing you will have from now till the end of this service year in the name of Jesus between now and the end of koinonia service for this year from maybe the last five years put together it will be that you have never received such favor and I say from my spirit in the name of Jesus Christ may God raise men to bless you may God raise strangers to bless you may God raise friends to bless you may God raise mentors to bless you may God raise those you have raised to bless you hallelujah nothing dies in your hands I prayed a prayer earlier on. Please let me pray for you. I place a mark on your head. Every spirit that wants you to be a victim of kidnappers, I say it again, or accidents, or to hear bad news that they kidnap someone and you should bring money. I'm praying, let a mark of exemption rest on your head. Rest on your family. Rest on your family. And rest on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him praise. Thank you for watching. Like our videos. Share and subscribe. Thank you.